Tenth Island. I think that Governor Reagan put his finger on it when he said, the reason this treaty is unpopular is because we're tired of being pushed around. We were pushed out of Vietnam because we didn't have the guts to go in there and do it right. Just as Admiral McCain said. We're, we're, we're prepared, as it was said, to desert Taiwan because three and a half Harvard professors think that we ought to normalize our relations with Red China. <laughs> uh, we, we are prepared to allow 16 semi-savage countries to cartelize uh, the oil uh, that is indispensable to the entire industrial might of the West because we don't have a diplomacy that's firm enough to do something about it. And therefore, how do we get our kicks? How do we get our kicks? By saying no to the people of Panama. I say... I, I, I say that when, 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 I, when I am in a mood to say no, representing the United States, I want to be looking the Soviet Union in the face and say no to the Soviet Union next time it wants to send its tanks running over students who want to, a little freedom in Czechoslovakia. I want to say uh, no to uh, China when, when it subsidizes genocide in Cambodia on a scale that has not been known in this century rather than simply forget that it exists. I don't want to feel that the United States has to affirm its independence by throwing away its powers to distinguish, by saying we, we must not distinguish between the intrinsic merits of rewriting the treaty in Panama uh, and pulling out of Taiwan because it is all a part of the same syndrome. Who in this room doubts that if the President of the United States weren't Jimmy Carter, but let us say Douglas MacArthur, uh, and if the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff uh, were Curtis LeMay, uh, and if the Secretary uh, of State were Theodore Roosevelt, and this instrument was recommended to the Senate, who doubts that the conservative community of America would endorse it? We are allowing ourselves to be beguiled, not by our mind, not by a hard analytical analysis, certainly not, by those ideals to which we profess allegiance every time we meditate on the Declaration of Independence. We are allowing ourselves to put the ground because we express a quite understandable bitterness uh, at the way we have been kicked around. We ought to be mad not at the Panamanian students who are asking for nothing more than what our great-great-grandparents asked for. We ought to be mad at our own leaders for screwing up the peace which they have screwed up during the past 25 years. Or do we want to go down and take it out on people who simply want to recover uh, the canal zone? What we have done to Panama is the equivalent of taking the falls away from Niagara. Is it, is it, is it the kind of satisfaction that re we really feel we are entitled to uh, to proceed on that basis in order to uh, assert a sovereignty which is in any case not a part of the historical tradition on the basis of which the Panama Canal was opened? No. Let's listen to reason. Let's recognize, uh, as Admiral Zumwalt has so effectively said, that we are so impoverished militarily as a result of so many lamentable decisions that we need the Panama Canal and that we need the Panama Canal with a people who are resident of the Panama Canal who understand themselves as joined with us in a common enterprise, because when they look at the leaders of the United States, they can recognize that not as a result of our attempt to curry favor with anybody, but as a result of our concern for our own self-esteem, we are big enough to grant little people what we ourselves fought for 200 years ago.